to a very special video where I will be counting down my favourite Doctor Who figures. This is a very unique video as it's the first of some sci-fi top tens that I have planned. Sorry about technical issues and sound stuff, I don't have a very good mic. Hope you enjoy, now let's get on with the video. First up, in 10th place, we have the Cybus Cybermen. Now all the Cybermen could ma have made this list, but unfortunately I had to set myself to a limit of 10. I will be later showing some that didn't quite make the list in less detail. Uh, when we get to first place, uh, that will happen. Anyway, I digress. These, I believe, were the first summon design we got in the 5 inch range. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, I'm a massive fan of Simon. Uh These Simon first appeared in Rise of Simon, Age of Steel, the new series. And this story is my favourite of the new series. I just have so many great memories of the story. And the design is extremely accurate to on screen. They have done a really nice job with the sculpt of the figures. Um, and the the boss got some the the paint work is just really good. And you got some small details like the gun and the Cybus emblem. If it'll focus, there we go. And um, you've got like little bits of like tubes. You got like wiring. Um, so it's it's quite a good figure. And the Cyber Leader has a removable. Cybus logo, which reveals his insides, which you've got some good detail there. If it'll focus, it keeps unfocusing. So you've got like the wires, and then you've got the um, emotional inhibitor at the top. And it's just good, really. Um, small deals have been done incredibly well. Anyway, moving on, we have. In ninth place, the tenth Doctor without a coat. And this variant is from Start on Earth Journey's End set, which came with Davros and a Dalek. And I think it might be a rare set, but I could be wrong. The Sonic has been painted extremely well, as you can see. They've got the black, they've got the little black bit, and the silver blue at the top. So it's very good. Um, and I think they've really gotten David Tennant's likeness, if we'll focus on camera, Jesus Christ. Um, but they've, they've, they've got his likeness done really well. The costume has done well too. Black suit with the light blue pinstripes painted over. And then his plimsolls with the red, white and blue. And then the laces that have been sculpted on. Um, the only reason why he's not higher is because the articulation isn't great. Um, so, sorry, I have to hold the camera and do this so. But he's got 360 articulation, you know, he can rotate 360 degrees at the shoulder and the arm. He's obviously got the standard sort of bend there in the, near the elbow. Um... The leg articulation is a bit poor though. You can sort of do that. Bend his leg. Um, but it means that he can't pose as well as some of the later figures, which have quite a bit more articulation. Anyway, moving on. Next up in 8th place, we have the second Doctor from the Three Doctors, Season 10. Tran and Tenant are two of my favourite Doctors. And this variant of the second Doctor is excellent if it would just focus on the camera. Okay, he doesn't want to focus, guys. He's just getting more blurry. But um, this variant of the second Doctor is excellent. There we go. Focused him. Um, and the sculpt is superb. The They've really captured his likeness. Yeah. The costume is brilliant. You've got from the... You know, you got the spotty bow tie, the blue shirt, stripy handkerchief, uh, the checkered trousers, which you can sort of see. Oh, it's kind of thick. There we go. Oh, okay. Hang on. Let's zoom in a little bit. 
No, go on a bit. Okay, but I think you might have seen it for a bit. It's got, it's got some check trousers and the articulation's quite good. You've got 360 at the shoulders. You've got um, articulation in sort of the elbow bit. You can also rotate the hands. You also can move the legs at the hip, but it's a bit obstructed by the coat. Uh, the you've also got leg movement here, and articulation at the knees. So yeah, good figure. Anyway, in seventh place we have the Saucer Commander Dalek from Dalek Invasion of Earth. This came in the Daleks Collector Set 2. I prefer the 70s Daleks, but this one's ju just too good to not be on this list. The paint is done very well. As you can see, you've got the alternating slats, the black and the silver. Goes round. And I just sort of like this design. I just like how it's done. It's really cool. They've really done it well, if you ask me. Um, they've done the plunger very well. The gun is really good. Like, my god, that detail is amazing. Um, and then you've also got the eye stalk. Yep. With the completely white pupil which kind of makes them seem a bit threatening, and you got the black dome, the little dome lights. Um, so it's a, you know, oh yeah, you've also got the dish on the back, and it's an excellent figure, so, yeah. In sixth place, we have the classic Autons. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm not cheating with this one, because they are the same sculpt, as you can tell. Um, so, we have the original from Spearheads in Space, let's, let's just let's call it Spearheads for short, um, which came in the Enemies of the Third Doctor set, and then next to it we have the Terror of the Autons, Auton repaint, from the 70s Collector set. I prefer the one that's from Spearheads, personally, because I think it's just more iconic. And the design is better because you know you got the pl just this plain sort of grey on this one where you've got this nicer sort of um, tan sandy sort of handkerchief there, and then the necktie thingy. Then you've got like this blue, which which just looks nice. The silver boots they both have silver boots, and you've got the buttons painted silver. The belt buckle. Um, it's quite good. It's al it's also got a few more features, so it's just generally better. So let's compare them. So this one has a sort of smoother skin than the other one, but they're both very smooth. It gives this sort of plastic feel to them. I mean, like extra plastic. I know they're made of plastic, but they're even more plastic here. The other one is quite, you know, very similar, but, um, the, the skin is a slightly different colour, I think you can sort of tell. This is actually sort of a more tan looking colour. Uh, don't know if it really looks like that on camera, but it is. Um, I love how they both have this sort of dead behind the eyes look. You might notice that the eyes are different, well, if the camera focuses, there we go. Yep. Um, I love how they both have this sort of dead behind the eyes look. They've, and I prefer the the, the 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 eyes on this one, just to that one. I'm not entirely sure what it is. Um, they they also have a very blank expression, which they do on the screen. Um, and the play features. This one doesn't really have any. It also this hand. You can't really remove it, at least not easily. This one, is, you can remove it because, well, let me just show you. So you've got your sort of normal looking hand here, 
and then you can swap it for the gun hand so it's like it opens up and then boom you got your gun hand so yeah gun hands um so i prefer the original because if you look there's a, quite a bit more detail you have you know your silver gun bit yellow a little bit there sort of like latch it together and the, these little holes so it sort of looks like it connects up why this one is a bit boring because it's just been painted just blue really i don't know if it's going to focus very well on camera but dry never mind it's just a bit blue it's a bit plain that's why i kind of prefer this one this gun as well um oh yeah and with the spearhead one, you also get this meteorite sphere, the nesting thing. Can't remember what they call it on screen. I'm just gonna call it nesting meteorite sphere thing. But yeah, um, they're very good. Both are great, and the f I really recommend these figures and both the sets they're in. Moving on to 5th, we have the Ghostlight 7th Doctor from Season 26. The figure is very detailed. The head captures the likeness of Sir Weston McCoy. Uh, the scarf looks really good. don't know if you can see it very well on camera because of the light. Um, but the scarf looks very accurate. They've recreated the pattern well. Paint application on the whole figure is very strong. And the jumper looks very accurate to the on-screen, in my opinion. The handkerchief coming out of the pocket on the side is a nice touch. Um, and, well, the detailing on the legs is very good, you know. They've really paid attention to the check pattern and the shoes. My only real issue is the watch chain. They've painted it the wrong colour. They painted it gold when it's meant to be silver. Now they did fix this issue. They did paint it silver on the 13 Doctors set variant. But I don't like that one much because the scarf and the handkerchief just look weird. But on the whole, this figure is excellent. Next up, we have another one of my favourite villains, a Sontaran. So we have here the Sontaran Lynx repaint, who is from the Time Warrior, which is one of my favourite stories. He comes in the Time Warrior collector set and the Sontaran collector set. This is the one from the Sontaran collector set. I prefer this variant as it just has a nicer look really, in my opinion. The other one's just a bit darker and it looks a bit burnt. And um, the quality control on that set was a little bit off. And I like this more simple repaint. But I do like the other one. And the accuracy on the other one is probably a little bit better, I think. Um, I like how they've made the helmet and the armour. Really shiny with that silver paint, um, and he looks very warriorish with this, you know, this silver and black warrior sort of space armor. You got the communi the communicator piece, which um, well just translates the speech into English, and you got his belt. There we are, and his weapon, which is insanely detailed I don't know if I can get it to focus on camera but it's um I don't know if you can see the little sort of dents the little holes or the silver bit just to sort of make it look like it's got venting and you've got this nice little bronze ring and the bronze tip on the end from where it fires and um it and you've got Obviously, the removable helmet, which I will remove in a minute. It's got this nice 
insignia. Looks very accurate to the on screen helmet. Um Yeah, so let's get onto his face. Let's have a little look at that ready. And there you go, his face, which has some fine details, like his facial hair. He's got some on the ears, don't know if you can see it, but you've also got his eyebrows, his little beard, goatee or whatever. Don't actually know what it is. But he's got hair all around. Uh, done a good job with his eyes. And I like how they've made the tongue sort of poking out a little bit, like it does in the story. And then, here at the back, there you go. You've got the Probic Vent, which he, um, you know, gets him back with. And then you've got his weapon holster. So you can slot that weapon in there. So, the Taimura himself, an excellent figure. Number three is the Revenge Cyberman, specifically the leader. I love this design, and it lo actually looks very much like in the story. It, it's just very, it's very accurate, and I actually quite like the story. I really like it. The fourth Doctor's amazing in this, in that one. Uh, and Harry Sullivan is an imbecile. Love that line. Uh, anyway, this design has re really well captured the, you know, the look of these opposing Cybermen. I think that's why I really like their design. They're sort of more bulky and imposing, and kind of tall as well. Um, you've got the tubes on the arms and on the legs. And on the back, you've got sort of wetsuit that they wear underneath, sort of diving suit. You've got the chest unit, which they've done a good job. Oh, and also you've got the machine guns that they have in their heads, which is a very awesome design feature. I love the fact that they've got machine guns in their heads. You've also got the teardrops. And then um, you've got the black painted on the the sort of headphony bit, the handlebars, the machine gun. You also have it on the back, where you've got here sort of plain one. This is literally just the same figure, just repaint, you know, black. So it's the leader. Um, yes, yeah, so around the back. There you go. And I think it. I think it looks quite good. It, the articulation is good. You can rotate the arms quite a bit. You know, you can pose it in so many different ways. Oh, <clears throat> this is the problem of having to use one hand, but you can twist at the wrist, the hand bit. You can rotate there. You can 360 that. You can um, move these. You can bend at the joints. Uh, the head doesn't move, but you don't really need to move that. But yeah, on the whole, pretty good figures. Um, yeah. Now for number two. We have one of my top three favourite Doctors. The Eighth Doctor. I just love the big finish stuff that he has. So this is his Knight of the Doctor variant from the 13 Doctor set. Um, he comes with his Sonic Screwdriver. If I can get it to focus on camera. Yeah, it's got quite a good de bit of detail. Got a little bit of gold, sort of, there. Don't know if you can see it. And you've got the red tip. The paint application on this one is very good, you know. The Sonic just looks very, deta very accurate and detailed to what it looked in the story. And basically in the story, he crashes in a spaceship, you know, ends up on planet Khan, the sisterhood. And he looks quite beaten up. And I don't think he had this much blood in the story on his face. So I've been a bit creative there, but I think it still looks okay. It looks better in hand than on screen. Um, ooh. We've got the watch, looks very, 
very nice. He's got his little necktie, his collars on his shirt poking out. He's got his iconic green jacket. They've made it sort of look a bit dusty because it was quite messy, you know, from the crash. And then you've got his legs, the boots, really n nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's re it really looks nice. You've even got the little buttons on his, you know, his little jacket, his belt. And I think they've really captured, you know, his face. It looks very much like Paul in the story. And it's got good detailing all over. The hair sculpt is really good. I, I think they absolutely nailed that. That looks so much like Paul McGann. And it also has the best articulation out of any of the figures, I'd say. Because unlike, mo because unlike most figures, if I can actually just... Hang on a minute. He has joints on the shoulder that allow his arms to flip up completely into this sort of T-pose shape. But the, all, all of his limbs are just way more flexible than any other figure, I'd say. Uh, you can sort of, I think you can sort of rotate the boots a little bit and the leg here. You can bend at the joint or the knee. You've got articulation at the hips. You've got the arm articulation. You can rotate the arm. You can bend it at the joint. You've got that bit. You've also got this joint. Well, it's basically the same on the other side. I don't know why I'm showing that again. You can also rotate the hand, the head. So it's got quite a lot of articulation compared to the others, so it's got the best articulation, in my opinion, out of all the figures. And it's just an amazing figure. So, yeah. So, time for some that didn't quite make my list. Harry Sullivan and the Brigadier. Love these new figures. They're very detailed. The rest of the classic Simon. I have the others as well, just picked up a handful of them, couldn't be bothered to get them all out, but yeah, just any classic Simon, they all pretty much could have ended up on this list. These variants of the Doctor, the John Pertwee, um, the Talon, well, oh, hang on, John Pertwee from Carnival of Monsters, the Talons of Wang Chang, Fourth Doctor, the Season 19 and 20, Fifth Doctor, the Season 22 Colin Baker, Sith Doctor. The Ninth Doctor from Parting of the Ways, which came with the Emperor Guard Dalek, by the way. The Matt Smith from Series 5. And the Peter Capaldi, which comes with his blue Sonic. I don't know if you can quite get him on the end. But yeah, he, these are some of the Doctor variants that didn't quite make my list. I'd also maybe mention maybe the some of the other fourth Doctor ones, like the City of Death one. That variant's really good. So then some of these monsters that didn't quite make it on. So you've got the Ice Warrior from the Ice Warriors. They didn't give him his gun, so that's probably... My main reason, just for not putting him on this list. Very good figure. The Sea Devil. Sea Devils from... The Sea Devils. Very interesting figure. Very, very accurate on screen, if you ask me. Looks just like them. And then the Scarecrow. Well, the Scarecrows from... Family of Blood, Human Nature. Again, fantastic figure from fantastic stories. These, all of them, all brilliant stories, brilliant villains. Some 70s Daleks, you know, some of the ones that didn't quite make it onto the list because I really like my 70s Daleks. I mean, the Supreme Dalek from Day of the Daleks, that looks really good. They've got the nice ridged Mini Cooper lights sort of thing. You've got the Ice Stork, gold, 
weapons gold, the plunger looks good, the black and gold really pops with this one, that looks really good. The Planet of the Daleks one looks good too. Um, the Genesis of the Daleks one, these both came in collector's set. Um, this one looks really good. Got the little brown gun that gets plopped in by Davros and his scientific elite and whatnot when they're demonstrating it. Looks really good. Uh, yes, these are some good Daleks. Didn't quite make my list. Some of my favourites. Anyway, next up, it is now time for my favourite figure. The winner of this, the five inch, the fourth Doctor, one of the, you know, he's, he's won, five inch collection, for me, it's just, he's so cool, Logopolis fourth Doctor from the 13 Doctor set, I just love this repaint of the season 18 figure, it's a massive improvement, the fourth Doctor is my favourite Doctor, and his season 18 outfit is great, I love it. It's very sharp. The head sculpt is incredible. Let me get the focus on the camera. I think you got it for a little bit. Um, I just, just, like, it's so de- it looks so good, it's like I'm holding Tom in my hand. It's, he's got these bulging eyes. Very creepy. Um, and I like the paint application. It's really good. They gave him a nice sort of wash over the head. So he looks sort of older. Because he looked older in the season. It's obviously it's the last one. The sonic screwdriver. Is, um, his detail is in... Peckable. Well, it will be if it actually focuses on the screen. And the camera. Oh, I dropped it. Hang on a minute. But yeah, that's Sonic. It's got some good detail. And, um, it's also, he's also just, his scarf is just, it's just immaculate. I mean, looks really good definite improvement of the original figure they did for him for this costume um and obviously like all tom figures oh wait actually i forgot to mention i believe that this is the best scarf that they ever did like design wise um i i think it's the 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 same sculpt that they used for the City of Death variant, but I could be wrong. I might be just remembering it wrong. But the paint application on this scarf is amazing. You've got the red, the burgundy, the purple. And then obviously, yeah, like all Toms, you can remove his scarf and put it back on. So, so there's the scarf. Very good. And you've got his coat. You've even got the little shoulder pads, the buttons. Boots look really good. Don't know if you can see them. It's a bit dark on that cloak, and you can't really move the legs very well. That's one criticism. But the back of it looks really good. You've got the um, pockets, the buttons. It's honestly just a really good figure, really. And the articulation is fantastic. So, yeah, my favourite figure is just a fantastic figure, really. Anyway, if you liked this video, please consider leaving a like and comment if, you know, you want to see more top tens. And uh, comment what your favourite figures are, you know. And um, I might do the Eagle Moss collection soon. So bye for now. Hope you enjoyed.